Here with Mississippi State defensive coordinator Chris Wilson. Uh, Coach Wilson, just your first year coaching, you know, being defensive coordinator at Mississippi State. What kind of changes do you look for with the new title, and, and will much change at all going into this year? Oh, yeah, there will be some slight changes. Uh, philosophically, we won't change. You know, we are who we are. We're going to, you know, try to have your run game and be multiple and give you a lot of different looks. So that, that hasn't changed. The one thing that's changed is that we're in the second year of it. And so we've got, we can add the nuances now of our defense. You've got a veteran group in the secondary. You've got some, some really good talent in the middle of your defense, uh, and which now it, it gives you a chance to be very multiple and show a lot of different looks. So we're excited about that. What kind of, you're never 100% comfortable with the position, but which ones are you focused, you know, which ones do you have more questions of and when do you, which ones do you have less questions of going well, in? You always got, you know, you, you have a little bit less, uh, you have less questions in the back end because you got such a veteran group back there. And again, they allow us to, to move stress around better than, than any other position that we have out there. Uh, when we start talking about concerns, defensive ends are obviously a position of, that you really want to make sure that you come out of this camp solid, feeling really good about. It. And then second is our linebacker position. You know, we got a lot of youth, a lot of talent, uh, but a lot of youth. So, you know, this, 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 this summer is going to be critical for all those guys. Talk about your secondary. Obviously, a lot of veteran experience and guys that can play safety and corner. Any guys back there you've seen being able to, to be a swing guy and do a little bit of everything? Well, yeah, Nico Willie allows you to do multiple things. Uh, John Banks allows you to do multiple things. And then, obviously, Charles Mitchell is as good as anybody in my mind in the country. So, you know, those guys give you a lot of versatility. And then when you add guys like Darius uh, Slate, who just came into our program, he's a guy that makes you very, very different. And so we're excited about that group. And, and if you were going to be experienced, you definitely want it in that, at that position. How does Slay make y'all different? What does he bring different to the table? He, you know, he gives us another version of Jonathan Banks. You know, he's long, he's got, he's, he's athletic, he's strong. You, you, he can play multiple positions. You can play him at corner, you can play him at safety, you can drop him down in your, in your nickel package. So again, when you, when you got that range of DBs, it's really, really important for you to be multiple. Moving to the linebackers, I thought you guys had signs of good depth in the spring. Talk about those guys. Yeah, we got we've got depth at that position, and and not only so much as depth. I think sometimes depth's overused. We've got competition at that at that uh -huh. position. We've got a lot of good players, uh, but there's a lot of youth, and so what we're trying to do is just we've got to do a great job as a staff of getting the right guys the right amount of reps to prepare them for their first game versus Memphis. Who are you looking for in that linebacker position to step up this fall? Well, there are a lot of guys. You know, obviously Matt Wells, Chris Hughes, uh, Bohanna is a guy who is really some young guys that, are, you know, you really want to see kind of, kind of show up on tape. Obviously, you got Cam Lawrence, who's, you know, who's really the leader of that deal. You got Brandon Wilson. So you got some veteran experienced guys who've played in a lot of SEC games. But those are the guys when you sit back. And and, and Deontay Skinner, I, forgot, I don't want to exclude him, is a guy that you really want to see make that next step. How do you use Deontay this year? Everywhere. You know, <laughs> he, we might stand him up on the perimeter. I might play him at corner. I might play him inside. because. And I say that, you know, a little bit in joking, but, you know, he is so – physically gifted, he gives you a chance to do a lot of different things, kind of similar to what we did with KJ a year ago. What does Brandon May bring to that group? Brandon May brings experience. He's that, he's that, he's that X factor. You know, he's a guy who's played a lot of football games, uh, has a lot of numbers and statistics to show that he can do it. And so we just got to get a feel and see where he's at mentally and what, he, and what he can grasp in our system. And your defensive ends, talk about them. Well, you know, our defensive ends right now, Trevor and uh, Shane from what, you know, visiting with the guys in the strength staff, they say they've had their best camp since they've been here, their best summer. And so I'm excited about them. they got their bodies look great. They're, they're another year into the system. So I anticipate those guys competing for one of those, one of those slots. Uh, and then you look at a guy like Sean Ferguson who's in his senior year, and he's taking on a tremendous leadership role. 
those are the guys, you know, if we can get three to four of those guys right now in a solid position and find that extra guy who we don't know yet who he is, maybe Corfield or Harrison Gay, it'll give us a solid two deep in, 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 in our football program. And where does Devin Jones fit in to end and tackle or he, both? You know, I had him yesterday stand up and introduce himself where they're from and the position that they're in. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, the DN say I'm a DN, the D tackle say I'm a D tackle. Uh, PJ Jones and Devin said, hey, I'm a D lineman. And so, you know, they fit as needed. And uh, that's, that's what's great when you had that kind of versatility. You can play them inside, you can play them outside, which now makes you very, very multiple. Talk about your bell cows up front with Cox and Boyd. Obviously, well, leadership yeah. time for them now. Big time. You know, it is. And uh, you know, it's hard to replace it for Nell McPhee. And uh, what we've done is, you know, we're going to have to have multiple leaders in that group. And, and, and Fletcher is really taking that role on, I would say, as well as anybody right now. And Sean is really taking on that role. You know, and what, we, what Josh is doing, we're constantly trying to get him to develop into that guy. But the key thing is he's been a leader on the field. He's not as vocal, but he's a guy who, when you uh, turn the tape on, he's one of those guys you want in the trenches with him. And you got two young kids in the D tackle with Caleb and Curtis. Talk about them. Great summers, from, from from what we've heard, from the reports we've got from our strength and staff. You know, great summer, both on and off the field. You know, they really are beginning to grasp our our, our system and uh, and the culture of the program. So I'm excited to watch these guys in in these, in these next you know twenty some odd practices. How is Curtis's shoulders? He he healed from that. Full go. You know, he's he's had a great summer. Uh, looked good. Uh, you know, and so I, I don't see any reservations with him right now.